Ever since my wife and I were married, we've made it a point to always take a summer vacation. While some families might be perfectly happy with an annual trip to the same destination, we've preferred vacations spent exploring our great country. From New England to the West Coast, the Midwest to the last frontier, we've visited a lot of great places. For our 25th wedding anniversary, however, we wanted to visit someplace really special. After a 10-hour cross-country flight, we landed on the island of Oahu at the Honolulu Airport. Greeted by our tour escort with a traditional flower lei, we were whisked away to our home for the next two days, the Outrigger Reef Resort. Since our flight had arrived in the afternoon, we spent the remainder of our first day on Oahu leisurely exploring the sights along the beach. special. The next morning we began our day with a hearty breakfast. Mm. Very good. And a crash course on the art of making a Hawaiian leg. Then we caught a shuttle and headed to the north side of Oahu for our first big adventure, the Polynesian Cultural Center. Here we explored the rich heritage of the South Pacific Islands. A living museum that spans 42 acres, the Polynesian Cultural Center features six authentic villages where visitors can learn about the different cultures through music, dance, and hands-on activities. Where the love loves the cow cow at the big luau. Oh, we'll throw our nets out into the sea. And all the umma umma come swimming to me. Or we're going to the hooky love. Hooky 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 love. What a wonderful day for fishing. The old Hawaiian way. All the hooky love nets are swishing down in old Laie Bay. Oh, we're going to. But wait, what's that sound in the distance? It can be only one thing. It's time for dinner at a luau. No visit to Hawaii is complete without experiencing this traditional Hawaiian feast. The highlight of any luau is emu pork a whole pig wrapped in banana leaves and baked in a rock lined fire pit for eight to ten hours. In addition to pork, the Luau's all-you-can-eat buffet also featured chicken with huli huli sauce, salmon, fried rice, and even purple taro dinner rolls. While we stuffed our faces with a bounty of delicacies, we were treated to a performance of authentic Hawaiian dances and entertainment.
Our second day in Oahu took us to Pearl Harbor. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The bombing of Pearl Harbor by the Japanese will go down in history as one of the United States' most defining moments. On that fateful day, 20 American naval vessels were either destroyed or damaged, and more than 2,400 servicemen and civilians were killed. One of the centerpieces of Pearl Harbor is a memorial built over the sunken remains of the USS Arizona, the final resting place of over 900 servicemen who perished during the bombing. Unfortunately, at the time of our visit, we were unable to board the memorial due to repairs being made on its dock and had to settle for regarding it from afar during a boat tour of the harbor. Moored a short distance from the Arizona Memorial is the USS Missouri. It was on the deck of this battleship that Japan formally surrendered to end World War II. Although Pearl Harbor had been on my bucket list for a long time, I was a bit disheartened that this hallowed ground wasn't in better condition. From the disrepair of the Arizona's memorial dock to the faded and tattered park markers, I thought the brave men and women who are memorialized here deserved better. Ironically, it was only two days earlier that President Trump diverted $2.5 million from the National Park Service to fund a 4th of July celebration to stroke his ego. It seems to me that these funds could have been put to better use in maintaining national park treasures like Pearl Harbor. After departing from Pearl Harbor, we had a chance to see a few more landmarks around Honolulu. Located inside of a 100,000-year-old volcanic crater, the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific, or Punch Bowl as it is more commonly known, is the resting place for more than 33,000 soldiers. The centerpiece of Punch Bowl is a large marble memorial dedicated to soldiers missing in action. In downtown Honolulu, the King Kamehameha statue honors the first king of Hawaii who successfully united all of the Hawaiian islands into one royal kingdom. Across the street is the Iolani Palace, the only official royal residence in the U.S. And with that, it was time to begin our week-long voyage to the other Hawaiian islands, courtesy of our cruise ship, the Pride of America. And so as we sailed out of the Honolulu Harbor, we set our sights on our next destination, the island of Maui. Ooh.